On everybody, it's your boy Sinister. Team RG, we in the building. Y'all not even gonna believe how small our highways are in America. Even though they big and they long from east and west, north and south, but I'm actually standing with my brother-in-law and we out here in Memphis at the pilot. I was sitting at the terminal, he rolled in, when we rolled in, last night? Last night. So, we gonna, a lot of people who sitting home don't got the class A yet, but got a class B. I want to touch topic on what you're doing to help those who's looking to get some driving experience. So, what are you driving? I drive a B truck, straight truck. I'm gonna turn it. Let me get behind the camera so you can. Okay, this is what he's driving right here. Yeah, I drive a straight truck. You see, with the sleeper, and and it's still in the house room, just like my pro star, and. Uh, that's FedEx, right? Yep, FedEx Custom Critical. Okay. Um, how do how do somebody go about getting on with uh, FedEx Custom Critical? Uh, you can go to their website. Okay. And their website guides you through it. I mean, I like FedEx because they've been good to me. But there's other companies out there if you can't qualify with FedEx. You might. Know, you got Low One, Panther, yeah, Landstar. Panther got 18 wheels, don't they? Yeah, they got big trucks and these short ones. These are what they call expediters. Right. So we get the freight where it got to go quick. And it's cheaper for the company because they ain't got to put, you know, two skids on a big 18 wheeler to go five, six, seven, eight hundred miles. Right. Or to go to the other side of the country. It don't make sense to put two skids, four skids on a big truck and you throw it on a small one. Yep. So you still got to scale loads, right? Yeah, still got to go through the scales. Okay. Same thing like the big boys do. Same thing. Okay, okay. Nothing different. So anybody that's sitting home and they got a class B and they not comfortable with doing class A, you can come out here, still be over the road, class B truck with a sleeper. Hey, if you've driven a school bus or a moving truck, you can do this. Yeah. So, Same size. And it's about what you want. Don't let nobody knock you. And when you're pursuing your goals, you got to be hungry. This is the man behind my grind. This is the one that pushed me when I was little. Like, hey, you got to do this. You got to do this. Because as a man, if you don't do it, ain't nobody else going to do it for you. And that's what I have to learn. And yes, it's times where I'm out here on the road and I'm like, man, I'm, I'm tired of this building. I'm tired of that building. But it's, it's a process. You got to put money here, money there. That's but right. it takes time. A lot of drivers come in the industry and a lot of y'all want to stay out three weeks and go home. Now, I know some of y'all got families and kids and stuff that changes the dynamics. But the ones that don't got kids and... Or your kids as teenagers and grown. Run. Yeah. Get run. out here and do what you got to do. Make that money. Yep. Yep. What was your favorite line? Uh, chase them dollars. That's right. Because sitting around and complaining ain't going to do nothing. Complaining, don't pay bills. That's it. That's and it. If you don't do it, the next guy will. And the next person to get the job because they more hungry. They putting out more applications. They already sitting and watching videos like, oh, I'm going to do that. So if you keep hesitating and hesitating, you're going to miss your opportunity. And sometimes you can't wait till everything is perfectly set up to make a move. Sometimes you got to make a move when things is not perfect. I, had to, I wanted to come in the trucking with a laptop. Guess what? I can't get the laptop when it was time for me to come. I said, you know what? I'm just going to have to go and deal with it. So, you got to be hungry. You, gotta, you can't come out here and BS around because your pockets is going to fill it. Your family's going to fill it. I've been out here since May 5th. I'm not going back home to November 23rd. I'm putting this six months on the road. There's people putting this six months, but they sitting in jail. So really, which one do you want to do? <laughs> you know, or some of y'all sit home six months and ain't have a job in six months. Your lady working and she doing overtime, or you know your man working and he doing the overtime. So you gotta be hungry. I'm not hungry no more. I'm starving. I graduated from hungry. Some of y'all gotta get to the hungry level before you can get to the starving level. Now I gotta find what's worse than starving. You know, because I'm still going to run. Regardless, once the money even get better, I'm really going to go harder. Because I came from $329 a week making nothing. Breaking my back 
pull in the fuel hose at the airport and rain, snow, sleet. Man, it's cold at the airport, especially by the water. I'm in the truck at the airport that had no AC in the summertime. Hot, pulling the fuel hose. Winter time, yeah, we had heat, we can idle, but you get outside that truck, that cold air, standing there, pulling that fuel hose, it's wet. You know, you got the insulated suit. I was warm, but man, let me tell you, that was modern day slavery. But well, that's just like moving boxes in one of these same trucks. You right. working in the city, you're getting tickets, you're getting towed. Yeah, yeah. You know? What type of freight child for? We pull all type of freight. Hazmat? Hazmat, you name it. Okay. Whatever so, they got, if it needs gets moved from one place to another, right. we move. So the pay, is it not? Uh, pay, is it paid by the miles or is it paid by the load? With, with, well, custom critical, paid by the load. Okay. They even got refrigerated division. Got white glove T valve trucks. I right. mean, they've been good to me, so that's why I'm still here with them and I stay here with them. Okay. But there's other companies out there, like I told you, that do it. Panther's a big one. I got friends that work at Panther. Right. And they do. They got a whole bunch of trucks like this and they run it. They even got cargo vans. And even with custom uh, FedEx Custom Critical, critical, you can actually get your own truck eventually yeah. and, and run your own business with it. You can be an owner-operator here. Okay. I work for an owner, and my owner's good to me, so I've stayed. I've debated. I'm kicking the idea around about buying my own truck and being an owner-operator and right. doing this because I make more money. But, you know, you need to get to that point first. You get in here, you get your feet wet, you learn right. the system. You learn how to make the money, and then if you want to take it to that next level, exactly. you make that decision then. Exactly, exactly. And everything takes steps. You know, some people want to come in and jump right to the top, but it don't work like that. Yeah, you can't just start at the top and think you're going to know. You got to pay your dues and learn how things work. Yep. Because you spend all that money on a truck and you get out there and don't know your, yeah. you don't know what you're doing. You in the hole. Yeah. You in the hole. You still got to pay for that truck. Exactly. 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 I mean, for anybody that's looking to come in the truck in or some people, I get a lot of people who's, you know, I don't know, you know, hey, that's a big vehicle, you know, what's the possibility of being successful? And I mean, any advice, because I mean, you actually, I, I, my grind is after him, you know, like, I seen him go from one job to another, hey, and just kept climbing, 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 climbing. And it, it was, what was what was the job? Yeah, oh, Burger King. I remember when he, I was still a little kid. He was at Burger King, but he was getting it in. Then I think went from Burger King to a paint, to doing painting. Yep. Oh, this paint car, y'all should have saw this car. I mean, we had hey. to push it to get it to jump start. That's <laughs> so. right, I had to pop that clutch to get it to start. Yeah, but yeah. hey, he did what he had to do. And then from there, I think that's when you went into security, right? Yeah, went into security, became, I did armed guard, all of that. I did retail, I mean, Lost corporate, yeah. you know, Catch I started out my security career freezing my butt off in a little booth at a construction site. Doing, doing overnights, because yeah. they always start you overnights in security. Yeah. Oh man, that was the worst, and that's what I did, I did security, because everything he did, I was right behind him. Then I got my CDL. I was playing around though. Things changed and <laughs> hey, I started out on the garbage truck. Then I moved to the oil truck. Yep. And from the oil truck, I decided, you know, hey, let me get this a shot, you know, see what it's like. Right. And I got to tell you, I wish I'd have maybe did this 15, 20 years ago because I'd be ready to retire now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now y'all know why my grind is so strong and I was born this way. My mama had one job her whole life. Worked at her first job for 30 years. 32 actually. Yeah. 32 years she had her, her first job ever. She stayed there 32 years. Went to work whether she was sick, didn't yeah. take days off, didn't complain about doing what she had to do. She just did it. That's it. And that that's that's why this grind that y'all see me on this real ruthless grind is because I'm gonna get it by all means necessary. I ain't out here robbing nobody. I ain't out here guiding people the wrong way. I'm telling people, step it up. You want better in your life, step it up. 
Those who's it. mad at what I do, it's because they don't have that ability to step it up. But everybody got that ability. They just exactly. gotta go do it. That's it. And if if they wanted to. You know, a lot of them talk it, but you know, they sometimes they need that little push. So hey, get it done, y'all. Get it done. That's all I can say. I'm almost done with my six months of being on the road without going home. I finally get to catch up with my brother. And hey, this is a beautiful, this has been a beautiful week. This is the week my lady made her one year at night as a tractor trailer driver. I got to run across my brother-in-law. Oakland Raiders won last week, and right now they beat in Cleveland, so that's two games back to back. Hey, life is beautiful. I got my GoPro from the company from the United Kingdom. I got a, a documentary, a trucker documentary I'm supposed to be doing next month. I'm supposed to be going up to corporate with Nike, because corporate called Memphis. They want me to come to corporate to sit down with me with some opportunities. So keep your fingers crossed for your boy, because you know I'm out here getting it. But yo, I ain't gonna hold y'all up, man. I just wanted to bring y'all a video, let y'all know. Even my family out here grinding. So That's right. we getting it. So y'all know before I go, I gotta say my signature line. We ride around, we hustle, we hustle hard, we paper chase. You already know. We ride around, we getting it, we hustle hard, we paper chase. State to state, we're gonna let them haters hate. That's, That's it. Right. Team RG. Stand up. We in the building.